Hello folks, so today we're going to look at the iShot HD action camera. This is not your average action cam, let me tell you. For one thing, it's a full 1080p, 60fps, high rate, frame rate camera, but it has a, a number of really awesome specifications locked into it. You might notice that it comes with a wrist watch looking thing which is actually a, a viewable remote control so you can actually see what it's looking at which is amazing the specs are not exactly shabby either it comes with a panasonic 16 megapixel cmos got brilliant resolution as we'll see in the demos obviously uh, mated to an Ambrella a7l which is the same chipset that goes into the gopro 3 plus it's got time uh, lapse and all sorts of cool stuff oh 1130 milliamp hour lithium iron battery right so let's just take a look at it okay well if we take off the lid and look inside the box all sorts of things like a USB charge block a strap mounts these are sticky mounts for placing on things like helmets or other surfaces there's a curved one and a flat one plus another strap and as you'd expect to find with a waterproof camera there are a couple of panels which go on the back one which gives you an air tight seal and one which has venting on it micro usb cable and a hdmi to mini hdmi plus arcsoft software and a user manual this is the english user manual fairly comprehensive if we take a look at the camera itself it's fairly well put together well sealed case in the uh, around it here which is this is obviously the underwater case because it's fully sealed no vents in it at all in fact that's the actual camera itself when it comes out the, one of the other nice touches about the camera is the fact it has this dinky little lcd on the top which gives you information on uh, the battery power and shots and time remaining and all that kind of cool stuff microphone in so you can actually have an external mic uh, that's power in of course micro sd card and the hdmi out and then of course there's this watch which is the remote control <laughs> and viewfinder okay so let's take a look folks and see how these uh, little toys work together shall we it's quite a sophisticated little camera in that respect so as i said before it's got wi-fi on board and 2.4 gigahertz connectivity so you have a number of ways to actually preview the video which is a pretty useful thing for an action cam so all of the controls are governed by the mode button here. So this is how you cycle your way through all the particular options you have available with you. And that includes burst mode, timer, and so forth. The, the set button is where you do stuff like setting up your resolution for your video and also setting up pairing with the, with the watch. Once it's paired, then you simply hit the mode button on the watch itself and as you can see i'm now live apparently the 2.4 gigahertz connection gives you around 30 meters i think of of support so as long as you're within that range you'll get that video available on your wrist the other important point of course about um, having the camera hooked up to the wristwatch is that of course you can control everything from these remote buttons here if i want to take um, a video i can just press that button and the video starts recording as you'll see on the camera on the left and then press again to stop similarly with taking a still shot so if i want to take a, a photo I just press the photo button and I automatically take um, a photo. The other fact is you can also take shots during video. So you have the picture in video ability, which is very useful. Just to mention that this is the charge point here that you see here and with a special cable. The other um, option you can use as opposed to using the watch as a preview is to use your smartphone and the action cam app on the smartphone. You do that by turning on your Wi-Fi. It takes a little while for this to, to connect, but as you can see, it's now connected. Now, if I punch my way back into the app, again, you'll see I've got the camera is actually featuring on the smartphone using Wi-Fi. 
local Wi-Fi. There is a lag on both the camera with the smartphone and the, the watch. If you see here, you can just see the how long it takes to get across, but it does work and it's good enough for, for previewing what you're going to be videoing. Right, so that said, how does it work out in the field? Let's see some video clips. So overall, what do we think about this um, iShot action cam and uh, remote viewfinder wristwatch? It's a great little combination. It, it actually adds a lot of flexibility to what is already a really highly specced camera. The picture quality on the camera is amazing. The sound quality is great. And in general, it's a great product. So there you go, the iShot action cam with remote viewer. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.